Come 2024, I really, really hope for the first time since 1994, we're going to see the ANC going under 50% in South Africa because we will have voted them out. We will have gone out to the polling stations, to the voting stations, and we will intentionally be like, I'm not voting for the ANC. I want to let them know that I'm frustrated with the potholes, with the load shedding, with the state-owned uh, state enterprises that are collapsing, with the high unemployment, with the high crime rates, and everything else that's falling apart in South Africa. But the reality is the ANC is just a reflection and a representation of us. We are no different to the African National Congress and how we live our lives. There's only so much control we have. Number one, we can vote differently. And I'm hoping that many of us will vote differently at next year's national elections. That's something you have control over. Number two, we have the power to spend our money with the right type of businesses, local businesses that reinvest in our communities. The type of businesses that are not taking the money, sending it out of the country, taking our money, giving it to other communities, taking our money, giving it to people that oppress and take from us, but buying from the type of people that reinvest in our community, that ensure that our community is safe, is clean, is well-built, and that create jobs for us, for yourself, for your family, for your community. But this one is scarier. Your home is no different than this country. And you are meant to be the government of your home. When was the last time you actually brought in a sufficient amount of money into your home? A good amount of money. Because it's your home economy. How much money have you brought in in the last five years? Versus how much money have you borrowed in the last five years? Is your home net asset flush or is it net liability heavy? What that means is your home owes more money to outsiders and you don't have people owing you money and you don't have a lot of assets. How is your maintenance plan in your home? Speak about load shedding. We speak about potholes. We speak about the infrastructure. When was the last time you painted your home? When was the last time you fixed the leaking things in your home? Since you've moved in, how much of the furniture has been destroyed that you have not replaced? What about your vehicles? Have you fixed your car? But Peno, we don't have money. You don't have money because you haven't brought money in. The ANC doesn't have money because they are not bringing money in. They are not building the type of economy that can bring money in. How many jobs 